Greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be talking about the greenhouse effect. So if you had watched our previous videos, uh, please stay tuned as you'll get more clarity as we move deeper and deeper today. So today we're going to be talking about this effect because the greenhouse effect. So this is the greenhouse effect. So it is defined as the trapping of long wave radiation heat by gases in the lower atmosphere. So this is the trapping of long wave radiation. Remember last time we talked about radiation as the emission of heat waves. So the trapping of those heat waves by the gases in the lower atmosphere causes the greenhouse effect. So these gases in the lower atmosphere, remember the lower atmosphere, we're talking about the troposphere and the stratosphere are able to trap long wave radiation which is from the sun and then that trap that, 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 that trapping that trapping characteristic or that trapping feature is able to create the greenhouse effect so let's look at the greenhouse gases so the greenhouse gases of what carbon dioxide so the greenhouse gases basically talks about the gases that can be trapped in the lower atmosphere remember as we define that the greenhouse effect is only created when there's a trapping of that radiation from the sun in the lower atmosphere so the greenhouse gases are composed of the carbon dioxide you can see here this is carbon dioxide fires and burning of fossil fuels so if you are going to burn fossil fuels here on earth and if you are going to maybe create a fire you are creating more carbon dioxide which is being emitted from that fireplace to the lower atmosphere so suppose this is the lower atmosphere let me just write l so it means here you are burning fossil fuels or you are burning fires or whatever you are burning that releases carbon dioxide it goes to the lower atmosphere lower atmosphere remember we're talking about the stratosphere and the troposphere and then this lower atmosphere traps that carbon dioxide creating the greenhouse effect so the second guess in the greenhouse effect is the methane which is represented by carbon hydroxide so methane methane i mean yes it's methane so it is from cow feces and rotten plants so methane can be also trapped in this lower atmosphere the same way carbon dioxide is so methane is usually found in human fe in cow feces and rotten plants and then we found also water vapor this is the third gas that is being that we find as a greenhouse gas so let us move on so how does greenhouse work so you can see here is the sun so here is the sun right the sun is releasing this this is basically called a greenhouse so what is a greenhouse basically this greenhouse is this this is this house like structure that has got a roof whereby it is used to grow plants so it is used for plantation so when the sun comes when the sun's uv rays comes they are trapped in this structure so there is there's certain heat that is trapped in this structure to supply plants with that heat so the sun here comes through this transparent you can see that this is transparent this transparent greenhouse this transparent greenhouse so this sun goes straight here and you can see this is plants these are plants these are plants these are plants so during the during the heating of the surface remember when we're talking about insulation the sun is able to be reflected by the earth's surface remember these plants are at the earth's surface therefore there is reflected energy so this reflected radiant energy is trapped in this structure it will not be able to come out there so it is trapped in that structure and that trap it co it just causes it, uh, a maintenance of certain condition within this greenhouse so the greenhouse basically is used to grow plants by just trapping so let us move on 
and then okay what is the greenhouse so here they tell you what the greenhouse is so the greenhouse is the glass structure with see-through roofs and walls so see-through roofs and walls just means it's transparent or you can see through it you can you can see what's on the other side but then there is a glass structure on it so the glass structure can is transparent so it absorbs heat and prevent air from cooling down so it absorbs that heat and prevents the air from cooling down. Remember when the air cools down, it becomes harmful for the plants. So it absorbs that heat and keeps that heat within that structure, within the greenhouse, as we have indicated previously. And then it is used during the winter to grow crops that is not uh, that is not frost resistant. So certain crops are not frost resistant. So it means they cannot resist the frost or the weather condition. Remember in winter, it is very cold. So when winter is very cold, certain plants cannot survive or certain plants cannot adapt because they are not frost resistant. So those crops are grown in a greenhouse. So this greenhouse is able to trap heat, remember? It traps heat. So the heat that is trapped is used, this heat is used during winter seasons. Like the, if, the, if there is no heat, since it's winter, there is no heat, it's only cold. And certain plants that are not frost resistant cannot grow in there. Therefore, the greenhouse will be able to trap the heat. So by trapping the heat, the greenhouse will be able to grow plants that are not frost resistant. So let us move on. So so let's look at the impact of greenhouse on on the people and environment so the impact of greenhouse on people and environment so uh, loss of habitats which leads to disruption in the ecosystem so because of the greenhouse effect remember here we're no longer talking about the greenhouse like the greenhouse the greenhouse structure for plantation the greenhouse effect which is the trapping of the heat in the atmosphere will be dangerous for the people and the environment so it would it will lead to the loss of habitats which leads to disruption in the ecosystem remember the habitats is just the places where those animals or where those species in the environment live so this is affecting the environment because there are certain habitats that are destroyed. There are certain places that are destroyed for animals to live in. So it disrupts the ecosystem and it disrupts the biodiversity of animals. So here, melting of ice causes the increase in the sea levels. So the melting of ice causes the increase in the sea levels. So the ice in the sea, the ice in the sea will be able to melt. Why is it able to melt? Is because the atmosphere has trapped heat. So that heat is going to be used and is going to is going to melt the ice which will increase the sea level. So the sea level basically be up because supposedly here there was ice melted and then this was liquid water. So if this ice melts, the sea level is going to is going to it's going to increase so here it melts the ice because there is heat remember the greenhouse effect is all about the trapping of heat in the atmosphere so this heat is later released to the earth so it leads to more droughts and floods so droughts is just types of land degradation whereby whereby there is there is little to no rainfall that that is characterized by little to no rainfall so floods can be also caused by the greenhouse effect so it increases it, it increases in transmitted disease like malaria so malaria can be transported can be transmitted due to uh, the greenhouse effect so it decreases in crop yields leads to famine so how does it do this remember if there is excess heat or if there is heat that is over normal or heat that is above the needed heat for the plants the plants are going to die so it will lead to famine or, or hunger so there will be more erosion and it will increase in amount of acidic rain so this is basically the concept of the greenhouse effect Thank you for watching.